how to start weight loss journey within 10 minutes with these six straightforward steps. In this video, I'll detail each of the six steps to kickstart your weight loss journey right now, a journey that I know you're going to be proud of. Later in the video, I'll also provide tips from a couple I know that between them have lost more than 120 pounds, that's 55 kilograms. Many people will tell you losing weight is easy and try to simplify the process, removing some of these steps. If you truly want to lose weight, knowledge of how and why you should adopt each step more likely leads to the successful weight loss outcome you want. I'll provide links in the description below to anything I refer to in the video that could be helpful. Let's go! Step one, set a goal. Stick with me if you think you've heard this all before and actually listen to the reasoning. The first step in starting your weight loss journey is to set a realistic goal for yourself. That's obvious, you say. My goal is to lose weight, right? Actually, that's too broad and likely not going to lead to a successful outcome. Make sure your goal is specific, it's measurable, and it's achievable with a time frame. For example, you can aim to lose one to two pounds, 0.5 to one kilogram per week, or aim to fit into a certain size of clothing by a certain time, again ensuring the timeline is realistic. Setting milestones or mini goals along the way is often helpful in keeping you motivated and focused. For example, aiming to lose four pounds, around two kilograms, by the end of four weeks. After four weeks, you can set another mini goal, all edging you closer and closer and closer to the end goal, providing opportunity for evaluation, any refinements of the system, and importantly, recognition of progress. Step two, calculate your total daily energy expenditure, TDEE. Before you start making changes to your diet, it's important to know how many calories your body needs to maintain its current weight. This is known as your total daily energy expenditure, TDEE. You can use an online TDEE calculator to estimate your daily calorie needs based on your age, gender, height, weight, and activity levels. I've included a link to one in the description below, as this one also includes macro balance, but you can Google TDEE calculator and use whichever you like. Many smartwatches also provide your TDEE. I'd average that figure over a two to four week period to get it the most accurate. Note that all of the TDEE calculations, including smartwatches, are an estimate. Be prepared to make slight changes along the way if you aren't getting the expected results. Once you have your TDEE, you can adjust your total daily calorie intake by reducing your TDEE for a calorie deficit promoting weight loss. Reducing your TDEE by around 500 calories seems to be a common approach for a gradual, sustainable weight loss. In the description below will be a link to a video where I show how to use a total daily energy expenditure calculator using my real data and show how the target daily calorie intake and macro balance, that's a balance of carbohydrates, protein, and fats, is calculated. Make healthy changes to your diet and track your food intake. Whilst each step is important in increasing the likelihood of you meeting your goal and being the person you want to be, if your TDEE is reasonably close and you get this step right, consistently hitting your daily calorie target, you will lose weight. All the other steps enable or support this step, making it easier to get to your goal. Now that you have a clear idea of your total daily calories, it's time to make some healthy changes. The easy way here is to purchase a customized meal plan designed around your routines, types of food you enjoy, and meeting your target daily calorie intake and macro balance. However, that is not necessary. With a notepad or an electronic document, list the various meals you prefer in a day. For example, I have breakfast, a morning snack, lunch, an afternoon snack, and dinner. But essentially, you can spread your calorie intake across the day however you like. Look for meals described as lower calorie, low fat, low carb, or macro friendly. Then combine them together over the day to work out the total calories and the protein total. You can do this in a spreadsheet or a meal tracking app. I utilize MyFitnessPal due to the ease. I record my regular go-to meals and snacks and I can easily repeatedly select them to tally my total calories and macro balance. 
There are some fantastic content providers who replicate takeaway meals as low calorie, macro friendly options. One of these is at Aussie Fitness, Des, who has over 1.3 million Instagram followers and over 2 million TikTok followers. There's a reason for that. His healthy food options are not good. They're freaking awesome. I use them with my family as staple menu items, numerous items each week with a number of them on regular rotation. Each step is around making this journey easier and providing more chance to form healthy habits. I found making my meals basic and sticking to a weekly meal plan was easier than changing around all the time. Many people will suggest you don't need to track your food intake and maybe some people can guess their way through and get lucky. I don't rely on luck. How do you know if you're regularly meeting your total daily calories if you don't know what they are? If you have a meal plan with it all spelled out and you follow that exactly, consuming nothing else, then you don't need to track as you do know what your calorie intake and macros are. If not, I highly recommend tracking by using a food diary or an app or website. Again, I go with something that makes life easy and my fitness pal does just that. It has a searchable database, an ability to scan food barcodes and much, much more. Now, I want to repeat that if you nail this step, you will lose weight. Instead of making lots of changes immediately, I'd focus on steps one to three first and introduce further changes when you feel comfortable with these steps. Some people, however, will want to immediately come out swinging and that's okay as well. Kudos to those that are able to do all these changes and set up a system that supports ingraining it as a habitual, healthy lifestyle. Just know you don't need to do it all at once, but it is possible. Step four, when ready, add exercise to your routine. Exercise is an important element of any weight loss journey. Start with something simple like going for a daily walk or taking a yoga class. Gradually increase the intensity and duration of your workouts as your fitness level improves. The key is to find an activity or combination of activities you enjoy so you're more likely to stick with it. Step five, stay motivated and accountable. Finally, it's super important to stay motivated and accountable throughout your weight loss journey. A good way to do this is establish a support network as part of your weight loss system, whether it's a friend, a family member, or online community who can encourage you to stay on track. Celebrate your successes, but also be kind to yourself if you slip up. Remember, every day is a new opportunity to make healthy choices. And finally, step six, establish your weight loss system. While setting your goal is important, getting the system in place will ensure you get to your goal. This approach is inspired by James Clear's Atomic Habits book, which suggests that to make lasting changes to your lifestyle, it's important to establish a system of healthy habits that will support your weight loss goals. This could include meal prepping for the week and scheduling regular workout sessions. For me personally, a gym membership on its own still requires effort. That is, it's easy to make excuses. It's been a long day. I'm tired. I'll go later. I'll go tomorrow. Some sort of exercise program that has a time schedule makes it easier yet again. Is all you have to do is get there yourself and join the class. I meal prep for the working week, preparing breakfast for the week and morning and afternoon snacks the night before and doing double dinners with half a lunch for the next day. My system includes a number of regularly repeated healthy macro-friendly meals and a gym membership, where both the weight sessions and the cardio sessions are classes I book into. Having the system to support steps 3, 4 and 5 increases the likelihood of building healthy habits and thus reaching the goal on your weight loss journey. Okay, a quick summary before I share the tips from my friends who have lost over 120 pounds. 55 kilograms between them. Firstly, set your goal and a first mini short-term milestone goal. Second, calculate your TDEE and your daily calorie target that has you in a calorie deficit promoting weight loss. Third, set out your meals to meet your daily calorie target intake. Fourth, introduce some exercise. Fifth, set up your support network. And finally, build the system that combines all this together, making each aspect part of your daily routine. So, 
The direct quote tips from my friends that lost a stack of weight are, and are the healthiest I've seen them in 30 years. Number one, get moving every day, seven to 10,000 steps. Number two, use a food tracker, i.e. my fitness pal. This is essential, they said. Number three, join a gym, park run, or walk. And four, surround yourself with others you can look up to. With this information, you are set to start your weight loss journey now. I'm not going to say good luck, as there's no luck involved. You've got this. If you are new to the channel and found this helpful, consider subscribing so you continue to get relevant, up-to-date fitness, health, and nutrition information.